Hi everyone, it's time for something different. I'm going to make French toast with zucchini bread. I had made this zucchini bread a few weeks ago and I actually had it frozen. So I took it out, it's thawed. I have the recipe for this zucchini bread in the description below. So to make French toast, I've got the bread, zucchini bread. I've got one egg. I will use half a cup of unsweetened almond milk. And note that I use the one with 30 calories per serving. We need half a cup of this. I love to look at the ingredients and make sure that there is no added sugars in my almond milk, very important. But I love it a little sweet. So I'll use some stevia sweetener and then pink Himalayan salt. And then of course I'll spice it up with some cinnamon. You know what they say, ground cinnamon or cinnamon on a hoard helps you burn calories, but that's for another video. So let's go ahead and get this started here. So here is half a cup of almond milk and then some pink Himalayan salt, salt to taste. I love using pink Himalayan salt. Ground cinnamon, shake, shake, shake that up in there. Ground cinnamon, love it, love it. And then I will add some stevia. Again, you can sweeten this to taste. I've got one teaspoon of stevia there. I'll mix it up and taste it. Make sure it's to my taste. And then I add the egg last. So mix this up here. A little bit more salt. And a little bit more cinnamon. Again, you can also add nutmeg, you can add lemon rind, you can pretty much add any seasoning or any flavorings that you like. So let's taste it. Mm, perfect, I'm missing one thing, vanilla. Vanilla, add as much or as little as you want. Everything seasoned to taste, add the flavorings that you like. And let's see here. Perfect. I'll add my eggs now. Excellent. You can use a whisk. A whisk is a lot faster. If I was making a big batch, I'll just put this in my Nutri Bullet and blend it up really fast. But you know, I just like to have my hands in the game. So I'm doing it this way for now. Mm, I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to eat. All right. We'll put the bread in and let them soak for about a minute on each side. So I'll let it sit here. Uh, maybe not up to a minute, maybe 30 seconds and then I'll flip it over, let it soak up some more, and then I'll fry it. So I just flipped that over. You have to get your hands in the game to really feel it. So I love my French toast to be nice and soaked with all the goodness. So I would let that sit a little bit longer. So don't be worried about your bread falling apart. My recipe is pretty dense. It the zucchini stays together, it is not falling apart. I'll flip this over again so you can see. I'll just let it sit there a little bit longer still because I want it to so soak up that you can goodness. do to get your goodness into the bread right in the middle. You can actually cut this bread into pieces either this way or horizontally, however you like. Just do whatever you think works for you. But for me, this is good enough I am going to go ahead and fry it. Time to fry our French toast. You can use cooking spray. I personally prefer to use avocado oil. I have a gas burner, so my stove gets super hot. So I have set the stove to low heat. Pour in some avocado oil here, very little. You can use any oil of your choice. 
So I drizzle that in and I like to wipe off the excess with a paper napkin so it's not too oily. So I found out that the longer you let these pieces of bread soak all the goodness, the better the taste. So these have been in here actually for about, I would say three minutes. So you simply pick them up like that, put that in the frying pan and fry it slowly. Woo, that's too high. I'm gonna lower the heat some because I want them to fry slowly. I want it to be crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside but I want it totally cooked. So we just lift it up and set that in there. I am making enough for the whole week, so I've got a little more to fry after these. So this is what the final product looks like. Delicious! It's time to eat! Time to eat! So the zucchini french toast is ready. It is time to eat. I'm going to have this with Greek yogurt. This is plain non-fat Greek yogurt. And I love to sweeten this. Of course, I'm not going to eat it as is. I am going to sweeten this with some stevia. Yum, yum, yum. Generous amount of stevia here. And then, this is my little secret. I love to add some flavoring. So today, I am going with the strawberry flavor. It just tricks my brain to make it feel <laughs> a certain sort of way. I don't know, but anyway. I'll add my strawberry flavor to that just to kick things up a notch here. Stir this up. This is a very healthy, low calorie meal. In fact, I divided my bread loaf into 10 because the zucchini bread is 10 servings. Don't forget that the zucchini bread is 10 servings. So each slice of bread has a total of about 125 calories with 15 grams of protein, 9 grams of fat, and 6 grams of carbohydrates, and that's in the bread. And then the yogurt, this is from Chobani non-fat Greek yogurt, it's 5 grams of carbohydrates, no fat, 16 grams of protein. So all together, one slice of this zucchini bread French toast with the yogurt will give you a total of 250 calories and 25 grams of protein so let's do the taste test here i love the bread i love to eat it on its own i can eat this and drink coffee but since it's breakfast i will have this with some yogurt so. mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. delicious oh you can go the traditional way excuse me <laughs> it's so delicious and just dip that thing in here. Mm. So this mm -hmm. is an excellent way to have a healthy meal packed with goodness. All the nutrients are there in the vegetables. A significant amount of protein. That is 25 grams of protein in this meal. Very easy, make this at home. I've actually made this in a batch. I'll have this all week long. <laughs> if I get tired of it, I just freeze it. Zucchini bread freezes very well and the French toast freezes well as well. Now, if you're going to freeze it in one pan, I recommend that you put parchment paper between each slice 
lock it up in an airtight container and stick that in your freezer and it will be good for months all right i hope you enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and subscribe to my channel hit that notification button so that each time i put out a video like this you get a notification thank you and i will see you in the next video bye so this is another flavoring i just did i added some caramel zero calorie syrup to my yogurt i love caramel so i just thought about that and i thought i should show you the caramel was drizzled over the yogurt that adds nothing to it so you can basically add any kind of flavoring that you like to your yogurt enjoy yum mm.